Today, we're talking about Homelander, one of the most terrifying villains on television. Watching him slowly descend into madness over the seasons of The Boys has been a horrifying yet strangely fascinating journey. And this video is all about Homelander's most brutal moments throughout Prime Video's The Boys. Be warned, we'll be talking about some pretty messed up stuff, but hey, it's Homelander. What else would you expect? We'll try to keep it safe for work as much as possible. But now, let's jump right in. We've all seen this scene a hundred times in a superhero movie. People trapped in a life-threatening situation, all hope seems lost, and then our heroes swoop in and save the day. Well, The Boys proves things don't always go that smoothly. Remember that infamous season one scene where Homelander and Queen Maeve rush to the aid of a hijacked airplane? Obviously, it starts as a PR stunt. Madeline Stilwell wants them to save the plane to make superheroes look good. But hey, at least the innocent people get saved, right? Things start out okay, with Homelander and Queen Maeve taking out most of the terrorists. For a moment, Homelander even seems like the hero everyone thinks he is. Of course, things go horribly wrong. The last terrorist takes out the pilot and Homelander accidentally fries the airplane's controls with his laser vision. Realizing it's a lost cause, Homelander turns to leave. Queen Maeve tries to reason with him, suggesting he lift the whole plane or carry passengers to safety one by one. But Homelander doesn't even want to try. In a truly brutal moment, as the passengers realize what Homelander is doing, he threatens to laser anyone who gets close to him. He won't even save the two little girls Queen Maeve is desperate to rescue. Knowing there can't be any survivors, Homelander lets everyone die. What's even worse is how Homelander spins it to Vought's advantage in the end, and is even able to fake some tears for the cameras. No one is safe from Homelander, not even the potential recruits that Ashley has picked out as candidates for the Seven. Despite her hard work and trying to find someone to give them diversity in the group, Homelander decided to decline. Blindspot is a daredevil-like character that is blind and uses his other senses to make up for his lack of sight, and he's also a well-trained fighter. Rather than giving Blindspot a chance though, Homelander boxes the man's ears and deafens him, and while Blindspot screamed and writhed on the floor in a pool of his blood, Homelander gave Ashley a stern talking to. Blindspot's fate is unknown, however most believe he's dead after Homelander's assault, based on a report from Vought News Network, which stated, Vought reports that Blindspot, the beloved super-abled hero, is still missing following an overseas mission in Argentina, which is definitely just Vought speak for he's dead. Homelander's dialogue often shows his true colors, but so do his actions. He's done some really awful things, especially to those who are in the Seven, and the Deep is one of them. After being reunited with the Seven, the Deep believes that he's in the clear and is on good terms with Homelander, and despite what he thought, Homelander wanted to ensure he never stepped out of line again. To do this, Homelander forces the Deep to eat his friend Octopus, Timothy. Before devouring the octopus though, the Deep apologizes to his good friend for what he was about to do. Rest in peace, Timothy. Let's talk about Homelander's creepy relationship with Madeline Stilwell. Saying it's the understatement of the year might be putting it mildly. Throughout season one, we slowly realize that Stilwell might be Homelander's only weakness. The powerful superhero is so traumatized by his upbringing that he would do a lot for Stilwell. Things change drastically though, when Homelander learns the truth about Becca and his son. He finds out Becca got pregnant after their encounter and that the story he was told that the baby died in childbirth was a lie. It's not long before Homelander realizes this lie and the entire massive cover up. This revelation throws a wrench in Butcher's plan of kidnapping Stilwell, strapping explosives to her and using her to hurt Homelander. It turns out Homelander doesn't care that much. In one of the most brutal moments from the first season finale, Homelander lasers Stilwell's eyes and practically burns her face off, just to end any emotional connection he might have with her. The only thing that makes this scene a little funny is how Butcher decides to blow them all up anyway. This scene wasn't just brutal, it was terrifying. Remember when we see just how easily Homelander uses his powers to go on a rampage? He doesn't even break a sweat as he casually strolls through a terrorist hideout, blasting everyone in his path. They look like overcooked pasta. It's brutal because of how easily he does it all. One quick blast of his laser eyes is enough to obliterate a human body. And as if this scene wasn't brutal enough, Homelander has to go and do something even more sadistic. After blowing off an enemy's legs, he casually strolls up and with a sadistic smile, slowly crushes the guy's head with his boot. We've all daydreamed from time to time, right? Maybe you're at work or school and suddenly find yourself fantasizing about winning the lottery or being a superhero. Well, Homelander daydreams as well, only his thoughts are a lot worse. Take the underground scene in season two where the boys are hiding in some dream pipes. Huey is processing the fact that he now knows what the inside of a whale looks like and falls behind. He sees Starlight and is about to greet her, but Starlight has to blast him with her light powers because Homelander is right behind them. This could have easily been the end for Huey. Homelander could have squashed him like a bug or just lasered his face off. 
but instead he wants to test Starlight's loyalty. The psychotic hero demands Starlight kill Huey in front of him, just to be sure she's not a traitor. He says if she doesn't do it, he'll kill them both. There was definitely a part where it seemed like Huey was gonna die here, even though he's basically the lead of the show. Of course, Butcher shows up and saves the day, but just think of how much pleasure Homelander would have had watching Starlight kill Huey. Another of Homelander's mind games took place when a young girl named Chelsea was considering ending her life. Homelander comes to the rescue, and most of the conversation they have is about Homelander himself, and how it's pointless to jump because he'll just fly down and save her. However, when news breaks that Stormfront bit off her own tongue and may be dead, Homelander takes out his anger by forcing the girl to jump after she's changed her mind. Talk about messed up. There are a lot of sad things about Billy Butcher, but the first one that fans learn about him is that Billy's campaign against the soups began when Homelander sexually assaulted his wife. There was initially some mystery surrounding whether the event was a mutual affair or an assault, but it quickly becomes clear that it was the latter. Because of this and the pregnancy that resulted from it, Becca had to go completely under the radar, cut off from everyone she ever cared for and loved. It only added insult to injury when Homelander brought an unconscious butcher to the house where Becca was living. Upon waking up, he finds out his wife is alive and raising Homelander's son. Homelander takes the initiative of training Ryan how to fly by pushing him off the roof and letting Ryan fall face down on the ground. There was little to no emotion when seeing Ryan land on the ground, nor was he worried that his son might be injured. Instead, he decided to insult Becca's parenting. Though he does seem to genuinely care for the boy, Homelander isn't going to be winning any Father of the Year awards. Not only has he just entered Ryan's life, but he's not made a great impression or been a good role model. In fact, the end of season 3 hints that Ryan may actually be following in his father's villainous footsteps. In a truly confusing moment in season 2, we see Homelander go to his cabin and find none other than Madeline Stilwell alive. Did Homelander fake her death somehow? As we watch the scene, we realize just how strangely Madeline is acting, and then we know something's not right. Soon we see that it's actually a doppelganger who Homelander has seemingly asked to be made in Stillwell's form so that they can continue their creepy relationship. If you didn't think the Madeline and Homelander relationship was creepy enough, this brings it to a whole new level. This episode ends brutally. The doppelganger turns into Homelander and then tries to seduce him. For a moment, it seems like the original Homelander might be into it, but then in a fit of rage over the idea of not needing anyone except for himself, he suddenly chokes the Homelander looking doppelganger and snaps his neck. From the first moments of the show, we know that Homelander has a tendency to be a brutal hero, but our first true look at just how brutal Homelander can be happens when he destroys the mayor of Baltimore's plane in the first episode. The unwise mayor thought it would be a good idea to blackmail Vault by letting Madeline know that he's aware of Compound V and will release it if she doesn't agree to certain terms. Yeah, not the best movie could have made. The episode ends with the mayor and his family flying home on their private jet when suddenly they spot something outside. As we learn later, Homelander went rogue and wanted to protect Madeline from the mayor. This leads him to use his laser vision and vaporize the plane and make it crash, not caring about any of the innocent people on board. This was a great way to show the depths of how low Homelander would stoop and just how dangerous he truly is. It also established Vought as a company you should never try to blackmail. We already knew Homelander was a psychotic, racist narcissist and generally just a bad dude. So of course, he would find what he defines as love with the equally terrible Stormfront. One of their brutal couple moments, which they probably considered a romantic date, was when they confronted a robber together in an alleyway. Let's just say that in a season where exploding heads were all the rage, Homelander showed he was just as good at it as Victoria Newman. Then we have to watch Homelander and Stormfront kiss with the guy's blood smeared over their mouths. Clearly Starlight is a much stronger person than most. Even though she's a powerful superhero with super strength, she's still no match for Homelander. In a scene where he questions her loyalty, he stops the elevator they're in and demands she explain herself. He threatens to drive his hand straight into her side and start ripping out internal organs if she doesn't start telling the truth. Thankfully, Starlight is able to talk her way out of it or else the janitor would have had quite a mess to clean up. This was a brutal moment that showed just how scary Homelander can be, even to soups. When Starlight leaves the Seven, Homelander begins to spread lies and get the people riled up and ready to protest the media. While the protests are taking place, Homelander decides to greet his supporters to garner more attention, and he indeed got plenty of attention. While greeting his supporters, he decides to introduce his son Ryan to the crowd. During this display, a man against Homelander tosses a can, and it hits Ryan, and Homelander responds by blowing the protesters' head off. When expecting the crowd to turn on him, he instead receives applause, and Ryan is seen showing a slight smirk. Not only did he murder someone in front of a crowd, but now his followers seem perfectly okay with it, and he's starting to rub off on his son. So what do you think was the most brutal Homelander moment? Was it the plane crash that left hundreds dead, or maybe the way he casually crushed a man's head in a terrorist hideout? Let us know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.